Hello everybody, in this video I'll be testing Google Bard for the very first time. This video is unedited and unscripted, so what you see is what you get, and this is how I use it and this is how I've tested it. So you've got to go to the bard.google.com website. Once you're here, you've got the option here to try Bard, so I'm based in Australia, apparently they've released this just recently. So let's see if, if it works. You signed in the Google Workspace account, your admin may not have enabled BARD. All oh, right. So what I've got to do is I've got to switch over to my normal Gmail account. Let's try it now. Agree to these terms. So BARD is an experiment. Just continue. Okay. Let's try this. I always try this. Provide me some digital signage companies based in Sydney, Australia. Let's see what it returns. In terms of the interface is very similar to ChatGPT. This is a dark theme. It's got the light theme here. You can switch it like that. Not sure how many prompts you can use. View other da drafts. Okay, so let's see what is returned. Sure, the one that I'm not I'm looking for is not really there, but looks like it's got some links here and some of the information. It's got an overview of each of the companies. Let's try. What about advertise me? Let's see what is returned. Yep, just a little bit about the company. Let's see, provide me with some API code for Bard so I can add to my website. Let's see what that comes up with. Okay, so it's got the snippet here, it's got the option to copy got the API key here it's got the thumbs down thumbs up okay so this is an option that chat GPT doesn't have you can export the response so I expect export it to Google Docs I'll put in a draft email Google it just researches it and really searches related topics so you can click on this and what happens I will go to that website. Let's go back into Bard here. Let's try give me a 3000 word document relating to artificial artificial intelligence. Let's see if it does provide like 3000 words. Let's see if it does. I mean, it's taking a little while. I guess it's processing 3,000 words quite a lot. I don't think ChatGPT was able to provide 3,000 words. Not sure how many words is this. Let me copy this and just check whether it is 3,000 words. Okay, so I'm going to put in a Google Doc here. Let's see how many words it is. Tools, word count. So it's only 735 words. It didn't hit the 3000, it didn't, didn't hit what I asked, which is a bit. Let's go back here. Can you create images of a dog flying in the sky? Let's see if we can create an image. So at the moment, you can't create images. You do have the option here to edit the text. Can you write some code to draw a dog flying in the flying in the sky? Let's see what happens here. I 
Okay, so that's in Python. And you can actually export this to Colab. And you can test it. Okay, let's see whether that that works. Export to Colab. Let's open the Google Colab so you can test your code. Okay, so here's the code. This code would create a turtle. Okay. I didn't ask for a turtle, but I asked for a, a dog. So, but there is some some changes here. So he made some changes. Okay, so it must have used a template for the turtle and modified it so that it created a dog. Let's run it. And see what happens. It's taking a little while. And there's an uh, error. So it looks like it's not really working. Some error messages. Python. Okay, so I'm not going to troubleshoot this. So that didn't really work. Okay, going back into BARD here now. Let me see. Reset chat. Oh, I guess that deletes it, so it's not saved. BARD activity. I'll show you the previous. Okay, so if you don't want BARD to store any of your information, just to guess, disable this. Disable it. And you won't store your prompts. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, yeah, so this is uh, it tracked what I was searching for. Okay, so that's pretty much BARD. I'll be playing around with it to see how that compares with ChatGPT and hopefully it might be a bit better and I'll find other features that I'll be able to use and incorporate with some of my business workflows. Now if this video helped you anyway, like always, please give a like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification and I'll see you next time.